If you want to make a living trading, you at least need to know how to code. This is episode two of learning exactly how to do that from scratch. In today's episode, we're walking through the three-step process I have used to test hundreds of thousands of trading strategies over the course of my career, and it goes like this. First, we load in the data and the relevant indicators. Second, define the strategy or how we are going to use this data to trade. And finally, we test it out on as much data as we have available. In the first episode, we already walked through installing Python and the Yahoo Finance library before building our moving average indicator. Today, we're going to be using that moving average to build and test our first complete trading strategy. After defining our three steps clearly, we can now test as many variants of this simple strategy as we want. No matter what rolling average window you plug in, and no matter what ticker you use, all examples ultimately fail. And if you don't believe me, I have documented the whole process posted for free on the education page at sharpresearch.ai. If you are interested in following along, or you want to learn how you can use code to revolutionize your trading, I highly suggest following along. Moving averages might be useful in some contexts, but if you don't know how to test them programmatically, you will never really understand how they should be interpreted. Ignore anyone who tells you otherwise, and as always, stay sharp.